the objective here is uh, we've met with numerous subject matter experts, NOAA, University of Delaware Lewis Oceanography, as well as the CIB, and we have a nutrient and phosphorus situation where we want to minimize, get below state standards. For, and therefore, our goal was to, how do we get rid of it? And by floating the wetlands, the root system we use will grow. These are native plants. They'll grow, and the root system itself absorbs the nutrient and phosphorus out of the water and puts it up in the greens. And we're Ready going to go. deploy them to all of our canals. We have 28 dead-end canals. Hopefully that'll help improve that. And the other thing that the plant to roots do for us is it adds oxygen back in the water. In July and August, when the water gets warm there, the oxygen level drops to the point where we don't get our natural water uh, creatures down there to help us. So this is going to help us there. We actually would love to deploy oysters in our dead ends, but the oxygen level in July and August doesn't stay high enough to support the load. So this effort needs to put that back, put the oxygen back. So we then put the oysters, which will then filter 50 gallons of water, each of them, a day. And so we get a natural environment.